In the press here, I'm going to put a bunch of wood to give a really stable base. These are the actual positive and negative pieces that make up the press. I don't know if you can see that, but this and this together has the shape of the back. They'll get put in the press, the plies there will uh, will go in. And so here's my uh, outside skin of the back. I'm going to temporarily tape it in place just so the center line stays lined up. Now, a lot of glue. out of the press, I'll clamp it in a bit of a form to keep it from warping as it cures the rest of the way for even a few more days. And the inside skin. Again, make sure the center lines are lined up. Here's the other side of the mold. Until then it can be a tiny bit floppy. So then we have all these little holes you see around the perimeter. This is what we use to clamp the top and the back one at a time to the rim. I have these little clamps made by RC, a piece of threaded rod welded to a little plate with a little piece of leather for a pad. These thread up through these holes. The bottom of that grabs the bottom of the uh, rim. The little wooden guy goes here and then the nut to lock it down. Right. So what, what, what we're missing is the top, which would go here once there's glue. And then all these little wooden guys all around the edge with the wing nuts will clamp the top in place. So I have a whole bunch of these to install still. The top is ready to go. F holes are cut and bound. Pickup holes are cut, it's braced. Final tuning of the top will happen after it's on the rim, but it, it's basically as it should be. 
I won't show you the gluing process, but uh, you've seen enough glue at this point, right? So top will get glued on, back will get glued on, then all that's left is a little dovetail for the neck, make a neck, of course. Uh, some binding, and some final assembly, some paint, and we have a finished instrument off of RC's tools. Thank mm -hmm. you. 